just because I'm doing another event today. We got an unboxing for you because I got a package in the mail, so I'm kind of excited about it. Um, I'm pretty sure this should be um, my lens uh, that I ordered. Uh, I think it also might be a hood for my camera, so we should get into this right now and we can figure it out. Um, I did order a, a 50mm 1.8 uh, STM lens from Canon. I'm a little excited. It's my first ever lens for this camera. I've never had a, another lens except for the one that came with it. And um, I'm really excited, so let's open this box here. I'm trying to have my light. Oh my god, I'm falling! Pretty sweet. Alright, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to open this box right here. And then once I get the contents out of it, we'll move over to the table. And uh, we'll, we'll look, take a closer look at everything. So, dude, this is a behemoth of a knife. Alright. Close that before somebody gets decapitated. Alright. So here, here we go. This is, this is the lens right here. Kablam. I don't know if you can see it well. But like I said, we'll take a closer look in a little bit. There's the Canon. Old, uh, made in Malaysia. I didn't know they were made in Malaysia. Fit, that's that's what it looks like there. I'll show you a little closer in a second. So we got the uh, we got the lens there. Here's the hood. It's just a lens hood. It's like one of those flower ones. And what is this? Oh, I forgot. <laughs> I uh, I ordered some sunglasses. I completely forgot about these. Right, anyway, let's get into this video. I'll hop on over the table, we'll take a close look at the stuff, and then I'll give you some like sample shots. And I'm gonna switch the lens over to my camera. I'm gonna put that I'm gonna put that lens on the camera, and uh, you're gonna see the difference between this video and that video. So let's move on over to the table. Alright, here we are with the box. We're gonna start with the, the lens because I figured that's the most important thing. So we'll get this out of the way first and then we'll go over like the, the lens and stuff. Sorry if the lighting's weird. I know my, my whole lighting and area setup is all over the place, but we're gonna get into this and uh, this box here and see what this thing looks like. So, pretty sure it just opens up from the top like so. All right, we have like paperwork. I'm assuming it's just like instructions on everything, or just pay, oh, you know what kind of paperwork and, and boxes. You got a nice cardboard piece there. There we go. All nice. All right, a very bubble wrapped lens, which is it means they care about their protection or so. My camera battery is low. I hope it doesn't die on me. Oh, don't die on me! Alright, I'm gonna go this quick before it dies. So, let's get this out of the, the packaging here. Alright, so it's a lot smaller than like the lens that's already on my camera. So, but obviously it's to be expected. Um, my, I don't, so I don't know a ton about lenses, but like my initial impression of this is that it's well made. Um, Obviously, it's a it's a, it's a Canon brand. It's not some like off brand, so I figured I've kind of expected it to be a pretty good quality. But um, so it looks like it's the same. It goes it looks exactly the same as my current one as far as like mounting, and then um, there's the actual lens. That's very that's a very pretty looking lens. Look at that. that thing is sweet. All right, so yeah, I'm not like so. Like I said, this is a uh, a 50 millimeter 1.8 uh, STM, so you can see Canon. I'll, I'll show you guys close up here. Yeah, my lighting is really bad, but there you go. Canon 50 millimeter. You have your autofocus and your manual focus. Um, not much really to it. It's it's kind of. I don't think you can really zoom with this lens or anything. I'm pretty sure it's like a set zoom. But uh, there you go. It's, it's really it's a really nice looking lens. It's, it's a lot smaller than my current one though, so it's gonna look a little different on my camera, but. Um, yeah, I can, I'll go get some, uh, I'm going to put this on the camera now, and I'm going to try to go get some shots with it, um, so you guys can see what it looks like in use. So, uh, here we go. Let's go do this. Alright guys, so here I am with the 50mm lens. Um, you're going to notice right off the bat, I'm a lot closer. Um, and it's worth mentioning that you, you can't zoom with this lens. It doesn't have a zooming capability, because it's just a 50mm, like that is what it's set at, and you, you can't zoom. Um, so, you'll notice I take up a lot more of the frame, which could be a good thing, could also be a bad thing, um, depending on your preferences. Um, my hat. I, uh, I did go out and I went to my house to take a couple shots with the, uh, the new lens, and it is 
incredible for uh, photography. Um, I'm not sure about the whole video thing because I haven't done enough with it to like really come up with a solid opinion. But once I do more cinematic kind of stuff, I will let you guys know um, what I think about it. But as a photographer, I'll throw up a couple pictures right now just so you can see what I'm talking about. Um, you'll notice that like just how clear the pictures are and like, it's durable quality of them is just great and I'm really happy with the with how they look so um, I don't know if I'm gonna start I don't know if I'm gonna keep recording with this lens I don't know if I'm gonna just go back to my other lens um, because the thing about this lens is you have more you have you know that zooming capability which I feel like is good for video but then again this one I feel like is clearer so let me know what you guys think if you want me to continue with this kind of lens or with the other lens and um, just solely focus on photography with this 50 millimeter. But overall, in my honest opinion, um, it takes really good pictures. Um, I'm really happy with it and I'm definitely going to use it for taking um, photos when I'm out at certain places. And I'll maybe use it for cinematics. I don't know. I haven't tested that out yet. Um, Maybe I'll throw one in at the end of this video. Maybe I'll throw in a cinematic, that I, a quick one, so just so we can uh, see how it holds up in that in that um, that aspect. So I'm sorry, this is a really quick video. This isn't a super in-depth review, and I figured you know the main, the main things with these videos is to show what this lens does in action, you know, out in the field. And I figured um, I did I did an okay job covering that. Um, I'm not going to go super in depth with it because. I myself don't even know how to go in depth with it because I don't know that much about lenses. I just know that, you know, what it is and I'm showing you how it works. So I figure that's what's most important. Um, if you, I'm sure you can go online and see if you can find a more in-depth review if you want to learn more about it. But if you're just here to see how it works, you know, what it looks like, just a couple pictures, maybe a video, then this is this is a good video to, to look at. Um, especially if you're starting photography because I'm myself and not super experienced, but like, this is a good way just to see, like, to put myself in your shoes, to see what it looks like, or put yourself in my shoes. You know, you know what I'm trying to say? I don't really make sense, but I know what I'm trying to say. But that's really it. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna show you guys the the lens hood because it's not really anything special. I mean, I haven't even really opened it yet because it's not super, not anything that is super worth sharing. Uh, but I'll, do, I'll I'll show you real quick in case you're wondering what it looks like. There she is. There's the lens. It's just a little flower hood. That's it. Nothing nothing crazy. It just goes in the inner lens and that's it. That's really it guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um like I said, it's not super in depth. I'm sorry it took it's not, not a very long uh review of it, but I haven't even used it. This is my first time ever using this lens. So maybe if I use a little more I'll post a better review on it. Just so you guys get a better understanding. But this is my first impressions and just on the first like five pictures that I took is really nice. Um so it's a really nice budget lens if you're looking for a new lens and uh, just to take pictures with, you know, close up, get a, a better blurred background. I think that's a word for it. I thought it was a B. I can't remember it. But this is a good lens to start with. Um, you can get it for about, I think I got it for 125 on Amazon. And uh, I think it's worth it. So uh, that's all I wanted to say about the lens. If you guys want more information on it, let me know and I'll post a review about it and uh, we'll go from there. But uh, I'm going to roll a cinematic so you guys can see what it looks like in the video, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. And uh, yeah, that's really it. Thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, and uh, me, me. peace.